Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 13F, New York Herald, January 6th, 1895, Fires in the Home of Adam Colwell, 84 Guernsey Street, Greenpoint, Brooklyn, that, in 20 hours, preceding noon, January 5th, when Colwell's frame house burned down, there had been many fires. Policemen had been sent to investigate. They had seen furniture burst into flames. Policemen and firemen had reported that the fires were of unknown origin. The fire marshal said, It might be thought that a child Rhoda started two of the fires, but she cannot be considered guilty of the others, as she was being questioned when some of them began. I do not want to be quoted as a believer in the supernatural, but I have no explanation to offer as to the cause of the fires or of the throwing around of the furniture. Colwell's story was that, upon the afternoon of January 4th, in the presence of his wife and his stepdaughter Rhoda, aged 16, a crash was heard. A large, empty, parlor stove had fallen to the floor. Four pictures fell from walls. Colwell had been out. Upon his return, while hearing an account of what had occurred, he smelled smoke. A bed was a fire. He called a policeman, Roundsman Daly, who put out the fire, and then, because of unaccountable circumstances, remained in the house. It was said that the Roundsman saw wallpaper, near the shoulder of Colwell's son Willie, start to burn. Detective Sergeant Dunn arrived. There was another fire, and a heavy lamp fell from a hook. The house burned down, and the Colwells, who were in poor circumstances, lost everything but their clothes. They were taken to the police station. Captain Rhodes of the Greenpoint Precinct said, The people we arrested had nothing to do with the strange fires. The more I look into it, the deeper the mystery. So far I can attribute it to no other cause than a supernatural agency. Why, the fires broke out under the very noses of the men I sent to investigate. Sergeant Dunn, there were things that happened before my eyes that I did not believe were possible.